protein in all its forms being bad for humans, but what about the things that are added to the animals? So hormones and antibiotics, I've had this conversation of late so much, and as I'm sure all of you do, and people say, oh, well, I buy my milk without added hormones and without, oh, thank you, doctor, I'm so glad you're here. And, and so I then I'm a little bit at a loss because I say, well, you're still getting it, but I'm not able to really back it up. Help me there. The cow is pregnant. You can't get milk without hormones. Naturally, a grass-fed, pasture-raised cow will still have tons of hormone in the milk because that's, it's the hormones that are stimulating the baby calf to grow. So without any hormones, that baby is not going to do what it's meant to do. And what about antibiotics? They're saying that you can get some milk that doesn't have the antibiotic strains in them. I think there's uh, antibiotic-free. And I think yeah. they're dreaming. <laughs> well, there's been lots of studies where they went and randomly tested and they found that it was still there in, in very high that's levels. Why, that's why I think they're dreaming. So that falls under sort of the category of is it really organic? Um, first of all, the, the, in, in America, the concept of organic has become so bastardized that it's, it's almost meaningless. And when you actually look at what these animals are fed and the, the bio-concentration of uh, environmental uh, uh, toxins into animal tissues and secretions, the idea that you can eat animal tissue or their secretions and avoid these environmental toxins is ludicrous. You're, you're kidding yourself.